with focus of keeping not just students safe, but also student athletes. The quarantine at St. Luke's has coaches in Baldwin County taking a second look as well. NBC 15's Corey Pippen shows us how the Gulf Shores High School football program is preparing to hit the field while practicing maximum safety. The head football coach at Gulf Shores High School tells me none of his players have tested positive for COVID-19 and they're doing everything they can on and off the field to keep it that way. <laughs> Snaps on the practice field might look similar for these Gulf Shores High School football players, but a glance at the masked coaches and socially distant sidelines show the new reality student athletes and staff now face. This Uncharted territory for everybody. We're, we're here into the uh, guidelines set for Matt Blake, Gulf Shores High School head football coach says so far so good. Nearly two weeks into full practices. Homemade water stations keep players hydrated six feet apart. Masks are worn when distance is impossible and temperatures are taken every day. Any sort of symptom at all, uh, we, we send them home. And we haven't really had that, luckily. But you know, if a kid gets overheated and, and starts vomiting, they got to go home because we don't know exactly what's triggered that. Coach Blake says because of those challenges, though, they've yet to field their entire roster. But thankfully, no players have tested positive for COVID-19. Ninth graders has had to step in and practice with, with the, the varsity team and, and, and take all the reps that day because someone wasn't able to be here. Sue Pabuda's grandson is a senior on the team. She says he missed out on spring sports canceled due to coronavirus. She hopes the new measures are enough to keep that from happening again. Sports have always been a big part of his life and ours too. So it, it was very important to us. And I think they're doing a really good job. I think it's as much of a mental health issue as it is anything. Just being able to be back out with their teammates and their coaches, they're just happy to have that back. Coach Blake says masks are also required in meetings in the locker room and in the weight room. Gulf Shores is scheduled to play Alberta High School on August 21st. In Baldwin County tonight, I'm Corey Pippen, NBC 15 News.